What's up you guys and welcome to my channel. Uh, let me begin by saying I hope that you're all healthy and well. Uh, it has been a long stretch, almost 90 days in quarantine in a two bedroom department and believe me I'm quite excited to finally get out. Uh, now with the economy starting to open and with the gradual easing of restrictions, there's a lot more movement, businesses are reopening accommodation places as well and with that I will be heading up on a camping trip in the next few days but COVID it is still a reality it's still very much here uh, we have many new infections each day so it's important to stay responsible and uh, therefore the areas that I'm going to are very isolated there's very little if no contact so I'm still practicing social distancing as best as I can um, that said, this is the sleeping bag that I'll be taking with me. This is the K-Way Traverse 2. It's a sleeping bag I've never used before. I have a number of bags in my collection, uh, but this one I've never used. And you can see it's a pretty big bag. Um, it weighs 1.8 kilos. So this is not the type of bag that you'll be packing in, uh, but I am going up with my car, so it really isn't an issue. But just as a size comparison, 1.8 kilos, uh, this is a bag with the same comfort rating and it compresses to more than half the size. Um, this is the sleeping mat, this is the thermo rest, also tiny in comparison. And for an even more accurate comparison, this is my 40 liter bag. So this sleeping bag would literally take up the space inside my 40 litre bag. So I say again, this is not the bag that I would be packing in. It's a big bag. So this is the sleeping bag that I'll be taking with me. This is the Traverse 2 from K-Way. Uh, the outer shell is made from ripstop nylon, so it's very rugged and durable. Uh, it has an inner poly cotton, which helps to wick moisture away from the body. It also has the uh, hollow fiber filling, uh, which not only gives great insulation, but also has adequate breathability. Uh, the comfort rating for this bag is 5 to 10 Celsius. Now, the area that I'm going to uh, up the west coast north of a town called Clan William, uh, sort of the northern section of the Cedarburg Mountains, according to weather, the nighttime temperature is about 7 Celsius on average. So that said, this sleeping bag should already be perfectly fine. It's within its range. However, um, the two nights that I'm going to be there, they are talking about rain and they have already reported snowfall in the elevated regions. So I do know it's going to be cold and I don't want to put myself in a dangerous situation where I don't know the sleeping bag at all. I'd feel more confident going with a bag I know how it performs. So that said, uh, I will be setting up my sleep system outside on the balcony tonight. I'll sleep out there and in the morning I'll have a better gauge as to how well the sleeping bag will perform. Uh, in terms of my sleep system that I'll be using, um, this is my Neo Air Thermarest sleeping pad. It's about two inches thick, so this is plenty protection and uh, insulation from the cold ground. Uh, I will be in a four season tent and the floor of the tent or the, uh, the footprint has a 5000 mil water column anyway, so no moisture is coming through. But with the tent floor, with the additional uh, ground sheet and the thermo rest, I don't have to worry about cold coming up from the ground. Worst case scenario, if it really does get very cold, uh, I do have my base layers, my thermo longs, uh, as well as here behind me, my sleeping bag inner, and uh, as long as my head is covered with the hoodie, I should be perfectly fine. Uh, in winter, I do tend to sleep warm anyway, uh, with one blanket, and I end up poking my legs out the side. So I am a hot sleeper. Um, I really feel that this would be perfectly fine, but I think it's important just to put it to the test anyway uh, before I head out. So the plan now, let me set up my sleep system outside. I'll show you how I do that. Spend the night out there and tomorrow morning I can get back to you with a conclusion as to how this bag performed.
up but uh, all in all sleeping bag was perfectly fine um, just my head got cold at one stage but uh, I've got the beanie and the hoodie but other than that success I'm quite happy but uh, I need to get up I desperately need to pee and then uh, make a cup of coffee So I've spent the night outside on the balcony and I have to say I'm very impressed with the sleeping bag. It really performed quite well, much better than I had anticipated. 
and uh, I therefore feel quite confident taking the bag with me. Uh, guys, if you have any questions about the sleeping bag, please do post them down below. Uh, also hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, it's not easy making videos. We all have to start somewhere. So I do uh, appreciate your support. I will be doing another video just to show you the gear that I'll be taking with. Uh, that should be up in the next few days. But other than that, uh, thanks for watching and until the next video, cheers and bye.